Hello, pen peoples. We're getting into the home stretch of our series on transparent demonstrators for showing off your ink. We have here the Twisby Go. Let's see, Go. The Go is an inexpensive uh, plunger filled pen that, uh, relatively inexpensive, that Twisby introduced in the summer of 2018. Kind of a fun little filling mechanism. In theory, you could do it one handed, but you know what? Uh, I would probably just knock over the bottle of ink or whatever. So I will use two hands. Um, like uh, some of the other pens we've looked at, the barrel is vented, but in this case it doesn't matter because you couldn't fill the barrel because the mechanism is in the place. So really you only have this much to work with. And one thing I didn't know when I purchased this pen online is that the part that is both the section and little short ink reservoir, uh, which is one piece of plastic, is actually slightly milky. So that is going to affect how the ink looks. It's not necessarily a deal breaker. Um, the other thing to know, there's lots of reviews of these, but I just want to mention a couple things. One is it is a snap cap that uh, has an inner cap for uh, keeping it hopefully the ink airtight. So again, thinking in terms of inks that you want to show off, but maybe they're some of your lesser used inks. This does have some potential, I would believe, for you know medium term storage. It also has this uh, little loop, which I guess is, but it doesn't roll too much, but it is a roll stop. And I guess you could put it on like a little lanyard, uh, you know, if you're into wearing your fountain pen around your neck, <laughs> which I'm not. And then of course, uh, it's a very very firm snap cap, so I don't think it would fall apart. Uses the same style of nib as the Eco. I happen to get this one in, I believe, a fine. That looks like a fine, but I believe it comes in different widths, and of course you could get um, mix and match uh, with an Eco. And it looks like it's the same uh, feed assembly as well. Okay, so let's give this one a whirl and uh, see what it's like uh, with ink in it. I picked for this one a nice bright color. This is Pilot Iroshizuku Momiji which depending on who you ask is different colors, but to me it's just kind of a reddish pink. Okay, I've never used this pen before, so hopefully I'm doing this right. Slurp, oh yeah. Okay, we got some ink in there. So I didn't get a great fill, but for the purposes of this exercise, it's fine. I could probably pump it up. Maybe I should pump it up one more time, just in fairness to the pen. Oh, maybe that just shot all the ink out. Okay, clearly I should not be allowed to use this pen. So a little better fill that time. I'm glad I didn't depress the plunger while the uh, pen was out of the bottle. So, I mean, I think at first glance you can see there's a couple of problems with this as a demonstrator. The first is, as noted, the section is not transparent, it's milky. And the other is that a lot of the reservoir area, there are these threads that hold the barrel onto the combo uh, demonstrator and Oh, sorry, combo uh, section and ink reservoir that actually block a lot of the view because um, although they are transparent plastic because they are threads, they are not particularly see-through. So you can see the ink, but you know, Momiji is a very bright ink. I mean, see how vibrant it is just in this you know, glass bottle. So I don't know. And it's also like you're looking at all these springs and everything. I don't know that this is a pen I would pick to show off my inks, but let's see how it writes. Presumably it's going to write just like a <clears throat> yeah feels pretty much like writing with a um, an eco the section is feels a little fatter than an eco section maybe it's my imagination and it's it's a very different shape than an eco section let me quickly pull out an eco to compare it to hello here's my blue eco currently not inked um so I think you can see that the shape is a little different. It's a little more, it has a little more of a waist and it's a little girthier. And of course it's this different kind of plastic which has a different feel. It's not better or worse, it's just a different feel. Um, in terms of uh, wetness and everything, totally fine. Nothing to complain about. This is Pilot Hiroshizuku. It's actually quite wet for a fine nib. That's a fun word to write, Mumiji. Yeah, I actually, the the, the pen, pen does post. Um, it feels a little bit like a blob in my hand, but it's not terrible or anything. I just, I feel like for the purposes of what we were trying to achieve in this series, it's just okay 
because it's cloudy and you can't fill very much of the barrel. So, but it's a totally adequate pen if you don't mind a kind of girthy um, pen with spring showing. So that's been the Twisby Go. Thanks for watching. We've just got a couple more pens to go and then we'll be done with the series. Bye-bye.